I'm Sebastian, and this is for Mrs. Man's class, and I'm reading Sleep Like a Tiger by Mary Luge. One, once there was a little girl who didn't want to go to sleep, even soon the sun had gone away. She told her mother, I am not tired. She told her father, I just not sleepy. They nodded their heads and said she didn't have to go to sleep. But she had to put on her pajamas. She picked out her favorite pajamas that matched the night sky. I'm still wide awake. Her parents said that it was fine, but she should wash her face and brush her teeth. So, she did. I felt good to be nice and clean. Mm. Then, because she loved climbing into bed, she did street stretching her toes down under the crisp sheets, lying as still as an altar. Floating in a stream. Does everyone in the world go to sleep? She asked. Yes, her parents told her. Her dog is sleeping right now on, our, on, on the couch, curled up in a ball on the couch where... He's not supposed to be. And the cat is fast asleep, stretching out the f stretching out in the front of the fireplace. She is the warmest spot in the house. What about the bats? She asks. They are they don't sleep. Not at night, her parents agreed. Not at night, her parents agreed. But during that day, they fooled, fooled, fooled their wings, tucked their heads and sleep, hanging up, sighed down in the safest place in the barn. Do we all sleep? She asked. Yes. They swim slowly around in a large circle in the ocean and sleep. Tiny do tiny snails? She asked. They curl up like a cocoon. Um, ac roll a in cinnamon roll inside their shell. Even grizzly bears, do they? She asks. Bears are mighty sleepers. They make a cozy den under the snow and sleep throughout the winter. All winter? That is too long, she said.
Most animals just sleep through the night, her parents said, tucking her in. I know an animal that sleeps a lot. The little girl told them, what animal is that? Her parents asked. The tiger in the jungle. When he is not hunting, he finds some shade, closes his eyes, and sleep. That way, that way he stays strong. Her parents nodded. Sleep is good for that. Then they kissed her, turned out the light, and stood in the doorway. I'm still not sleepy, she told them. We know, they agreed. You can stay awake all night long. They left her door open a crack. The little girl's bed was as warm and cozy as a cocoon of sheets, a nest of blankets. Unlike the dog on the couch, she was right where she wasn't was supposed to be. She was ringing down under the covers until she found the warmest spot like the cat in front of the fire. She folded her arms like the wings of a bat. She circled around like a whale. And she curled up snail. Then she snuggled deep as a bear, deep, deep, sleeping bear. And like a snoring tiger, fell fast. Asleep. This book is about sleeping like a tiger and a little girl didn't want to sleep. So she, she her parents agreed that she had to wash her face and scrub her face and wash her teeth and, and they tucked her in. And she, she, she slept like a tiger, she slept like a bird, she slept like a cat in, in the near the fireplace. And she slept like a bear, and she slept like a tiger. And then, um... She, um, then, bye.